So does anybody have any questions that you would like to ask the boys from Avenged Sevenfold? Hi. Um, Don't cuss. Okay. <laughs> Basically, uh, I was curious about when you guys played Oddfest and um, the power went out. Oh yeah. I was I was curious what the real deal with, with that was because I know you guys played what, a year after Iron Maiden played and we all know about that. So and I, I know you I know you're wearing an Iron Maiden shirt. So I was just curious what the deal with that was. Uh, we heard it was just some sort of breaker, but you know who knows. I mean, I'm I don't I don't even think Sharon was there that day. I'm not sure, but. She was holding the plug. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's, what I thought. That's what Bruce Dickinson said. Yeah. But yeah, that was a... No, I think if I think if Sharon wanted to get nasty, she could have gotten way nastier than that. But I think it was just one of those things, like this freak events that actually, you know, that definitely happened. Because we actually got along with everyone really well on that tour. Everyone was really cool to us. And uh, it was a little bit, a bit of a bummer, but... From our standpoint, it's kind of exciting watching all I the like fireballs. That stuff. Yeah, I, was, I think <laughs> I like the drama. I was like I'm watching everyone like start fires and stuff. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of cool. cool. <laughs> I, I just wanted to see that power. play. Yeah, well, we at least we had to finish some of it. It kind of sucked that we had to, you know, to me like we were so played out in LA at that point. I mean, it was like we had played so many shows there. To me, it was like, oh man, I just want to go write a new record. So at that point, I was like, oh, something cool happened. At least it's kind of exciting <laughs> to talk about later. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Has the power ever gone out on you when you're on stage? Yeah. Uh, Besides times. that point, yeah. Um, yeah, stuff stuff always happens. Like, and it's it's so embarrassing, you know. Like, do you ever just like sit down? One time and in do San Diego, did anyone go to our San Diego show where all the lights went out? Lights went oh, out for yeah. like four songs while we were playing. <laughs> we were playing in the dark, and like we were like we were like just coming up at that time, and we were just like we didn't know what to do, so we went back on stage and played in no lights, and we're just like, this is weird. This just right? sucks, you know. Like, and it totally ruined our whole like where was it the Soma. And it just totally ruined the whole show for us, and we wanted to get back and play San Diego so bad, like just to redeem ourselves there. Because a lot of kids, they don't, they don't know like when you're 15, or 14 years old, and you're going to a show, and you see the lights go out, you just know that you paid money to see a show, and you don't get to see your band. Or they think it's part of the show. Hey, yeah. this is cool. Yeah. <laughs> but meanwhile, we're like totally messing up on stage because we can't see anything. Everyone's in the dark, yeah. and I'm tripping over stuff, and it's just embarrassing. You know? it's, it's, it's not our fault, fault, but it was embarrassing. Someone, some one of the kids actually had tripped to the wires, get, ran back to the sound booth, and that's where all the controls were. Mm -hmm. And someone unplugged something, just like, must have tripped over it, because it was barely out, but they couldn't figure it out for, until we were done. Instead of looking at the obvious? Yeah, well, they thought it was something in the, like, on right. the stage, but it wasn't, so. Have it was ever, embarrassing, San Diego story, yeah. Have you ever been on stage and forgotten, like, lyrics or chords Every or anything? Night. <laughs> really? <laughs> Uh, we always forget stuff, but we just laugh at each other. Like, I'll just go blah, blah, blah sometimes and look over at them, they laugh at me. And so, you know, there's some hardcore fans out there going, hey! Now, a hey. lot of times I can watch the kids and they'll sing it, and I'll be like, okay, that's, 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 right. where, that's where this is going. <laughs> Thanks for leading like, me in the right direction. <laughs> yeah. Well, because we do some, like, that's the hard thing about changing up songs all the time. Like, you're just changing up songs, and like, one night you're like, oh, well, we played this last time we were here. We gotta play this song, throw it in there. Does everyone know it? You throw it in there, and it's like, oh, I think I know it. Yeah, I know it. Of course I know it. Then you go out there, and it's like, I know the song so well that I'm thinking about it too much, and now, right. now it just blanks. And yeah. So well, that next time the power the time. goes out, you can just let the audience sing it. I know. How about that? Well, well I, always, I always put the mic out if, if, if I can't remember. Faith <laughs> <laughs> Addiction did that once in like 1985. The power went out, and the audience just sang like the next three songs. Yeah, that's cool. So, does anybody else have any more questions? Okay, can you come up here, baby? Because I'm really too lazy to get up. Jesse, <laughs> 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 I'm figured that out already. Okay. What did you like to do when you were a child, like, for your fun? When I was a child, I played a lot of sports, played basketball and baseball and football, did that kind of thing. And then I got really into punk rock and a bunch of that kind of stuff, and then I started... Well, I, my mom made, made me play piano when I was younger. I hated it so much, and then when I got older, I realized it was, like, the greatest thing she ever did for me. But I just played lots of sports and just hung out with my friends, and then I just increasingly became a worse kid and a worse kid and then I dropped all the sports and stuff. Punk rock will do that to you. Yeah, it does. <laughs> but, you know, and then you kind of come full circle. But that's what I did. I know he played a lot of sports too. Yeah, I love playing. I played baseball and I skateboarded a lot. And then once I picked up a guitar, I kind of let everything else go and focused on guitar and became a little punk as well. How old were you when you picked up that guitar, Zach? Uh, I, was, I think I was like 12 and I was... Kind of mainly like air guitaring with the real guitar because mm -hmm. like I kind of realized like oh, it's gonna be harder to play than I thought. But, right. So, play with them. Yeah. Get those you know, calluses you, built up. Yeah, you totally kind of like fake play and like put in your favorite punk albums or metal albums and like 
play, like pretending you're in the band and stuff. You just gotta have fun. When you're a kid, you have as much fun as you can. And that kind of sets, you know, now that we're adults, we're still having as much fun as we can. Except I really play. <laughs> if you were in an air guitar contest and you had to do a song other than yours, what song would you be like, oh, I'm winning this? If Sinister Gates was in the air guitar contest, he would beat me no matter what. Because he's got Sinister Gates got the funniest moves. <laughs> we shot a new video, we were watching it the other day, and he's got the funniest moves. Was, that guy's like out there sometimes. And I'm watching him. And we actually played the video one time just to watch only Sinister Gates. Really? And, and just kind of laugh at everything he's doing. It's just really funny. It's he would, very funny. Yeah, he's got the air guitar moves. He's not even playing the halftime, he's just chugging. There's like a solo going on. And <laughs> it's in the video, it's like, what's he doing? <laughs> he's crazy definitely worth watching when you see the almost easy video make sure you just, <laughs> just check out sinister gates. watch sinister gates okay. the whole way through so keep an eye out for that kids oh. anybody else have any questions even though you didn't really answer the question about what you would win oh what, what, for what song yeah that you critical would like, acclaim <laughs> no that's something not yours oh i'd air guitar okay oh, I, I thank guitar. you <laughs> all right um r kelly <laughs> oh yeah, I would make love to that guitar, just like R. Kelly would. <laughs> just don't uh, be do something else on it. Everything R. Yeah. Kelly sings about is making love. Yes, that's it's accurate. Awesome. In every kind of manner. <laughs> <laughs> Including <laughs> being <laughs> Okay, do you have a question? Um, hi, I know how I'm um, in OzFest, that's my first time I saw you guys. Um, you played that Killer Pantera cover, will, we be, will you be doing that on the next tour, or if not that song, then another Pantera song or something? Uh, we put that song to bed. We just did it for fun because, uh, you know, we it was like actually a song everyone knew. And we're like, hey, let's play the song. We played it. It was fun. We did it for uh, Kerrang, which is like a magazine in England, like a, a compilation thing. Oh, yeah, they had that compilation CD thing. Right? Yeah, it had like us and Killswitch doing Holy Diver and a bunch of stuff like that. A bunch of